Good evening. Uh, Sonic Blue here, and you're probably wondering why I haven't done a video in a while. Well, uh, I kind of moved out of Pennsylvania and into Utah, and it's been kind of hectic, you know, with the new work schedule and everything, but uh, just uh, rest assured, I'm still around, and I got an unboxing video to show you. Now, we're going to be unboxing two different uh, vaping mods, uh, both of them from iJoy. This first one is the iJoy Captain PO270. That's this one. And the second one, and this one is a dual battery mod with uh, using uh, two 2700 batteries. And uh, there's an adapter in here for the typical 18650s. So let's do this unboxing here first. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice little rainbow mod there. Okay, and it's got the logo on the back for the Captain mod. And on the front, you got your uh, up and down arrows and a little uh, USB mini for charging. And down here is the door for the dual batteries. So that closes pretty steadily. And then on top here is where the tank would go. And the firing button, which is right here. Nice big button. It's got a nice comfortable feel to it. Underneath the box, where we get all of our goodies here like uh, there's two batteries that comes with it these are the two uh, 2700s and this is the adapter for the uh, 18650 batteries and there's the typical charging cable which I'll be probably setting this aside because I got tons of these and can't forget the paperwork the destructions and I guess a warranty coverage card Yep, that's a warranty card. So it's uh, nice to know that your product has uh, a warranty on it. As you definitely want the best out of your vaping needs, especially if it doesn't work. But we'll be testing it out here with the enclosed 2700 batteries. So let's pop this thing open and give it a try. First, I'm going to open up the batteries and slide them in. And of course, these are sealed in plastic so I gotta get the plastic off of them okay so for testing purposes I'm going to use my uh, Aspire Atlantis 2 tank because I still have some liquid left over in it okay so this is for the iJoy captain there's our readout here if you can see it and so what we're gonna do is it's set at 67.7 by default If you hold down the button, of course, it scrolls down pretty quickly. But I want this up to at least 60. Well, let's go 58. 58 watts. Well, that is nice. Got a nice heavy feel to it because of the two batteries that are in it now, and it's a very simple, uh, very simple mechanism to use here. It's a very simple readout. It shows your voltage, your wattage, battery power for both batteries, and they're pretty charged up. So I like this. I really like this. And then you got your uh, power mode. Uh, you got your temperature. Um, and probably even has a. Um, indicator for how long you hold down your uh, your fire button well that's a nice vape right there that is a very nice vape right there okay so that is the iJoy Captain uh, the PO270 model and it's got this nice uh, beautiful rainbow finish very attractive looking so next we're gonna text test text yeah, get on the phone and text it. <laughs> That's a new feature in mods. No, I'm kidding. But no, next we're going to test. And uh, by the way, the uh, mod that I've been using all this time is that uh, old uh, Pegasus from Aspire. And you remember that unboxing from years ago. I still use that mod, but I decided to use something a little more powerful for sub-ohm tanks. So that's why I invested in these iJoys. And iJoy is a really good brand, too, because I've uh, noticed a lot of uh, really good iJoy products uh, coming from that line of uh, uh, vaping units. And I decided to take a chance with the Captain, 
And the second unit, which I have here, uh, I'll show you in just a moment. Got to get organized here. Our quad iJoy. This is a quad battery. And this one is the iJoy Maxo, um, which uses the 18650s. <clears throat> there we go. Now, here we go. Now, you want to look nice, attractive looking mod. There it is. I went with the, with the uh, Midnight Blue. And so your up and down arrow uh, buttons are right here. There's your fire button. There's your uh, screw for the tank. And your charging unit is right on the side there, right there. And so we pop this thing open on the battery. Um, and there is your quad battery receptacle there. So basically to get this to work on two batteries or four batteries, it's entirely up to you. I'm probably going to use the four batteries to see how powerful it is. Unfortunately, I don't have four of the 2700s. I have to get some more. And of course, there's our charging cable underneath the box. And you also get a package of these decals that you can use to modify your mod. And they go right here on the side, right there. So, I don't know. I guess, let's take a look at some of these designs. And, of course, there's your warranty card and your instruction manual. For in case you need to read the destructions. Alright, so, some of the designs you can put onto your mod. You got your, like, sandy look here, right there. And... Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, the 3M logo. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice sparkly, shiny little silver design here. You got another uh, sandy look there. Uh, there's your leather look right there. And there's, an, I guess, one for one either side. Yeah, it's for either side. So there's one for this side and one for this side. So you get two going on either side of your mod there. And here's the other leather looking one and here's a nice sandpaper look <laughs> so if you want sandpaper look on your mod there it is it looks just like sandpaper I'm not gonna lie <clears throat> and there's a nice baby barf green that's always good to have on your mods <laughs> and then your typical black so you got all different kinds of designs to put on your mod and so I'm going to probably, if I were to go with one, I would probably go with the silver one because it's sparkly, it's shiny, it stands out. And I'm going to just put these away for now and give this new mod a try. Once I get all my decals put back together again, according to design. There we go. I wonder how that would look. Let's, let's take a look and see how this would look against the blue here. Let's put it right up against, and it just goes right on there. That kind of looks slick. I like it. I think I'll, I'll I'll apply these. I will apply these because you know, kind of, it, it, it's just sparkly. I like sparkly. Let's put these ones back in. <laughs> okay, get back down there. There we go. Now, all iJoy products will come with an um, authentication number. You scratch this number here, and you go to the iJoy website, and you make sure that they're authentic. But I ordered them from uh, the same place I ordered my uh, Aspire Atlantis, or my, uh, sorry, my Aspire Pegasus, and all... Atlantis is the tank, yes. But all products from eFun Top are authentic. So you never have to worry about getting any fakes, phonies, duplicates, doppelgangers, whatever you want to call them. You don't have to worry about that because your products will be authentic from the makers. And there are so many different mods to choose from. Just go to that website and just check out and see what they have. And they have a mod for everybody. So there we go. I'm going to box this back up and see if I can't grab these two batteries from here. And insert two of them in this new mod here. So in order to use two batteries instead of the one, I believe we just... Fortunately, I do have plenty of the um, 18650 batteries. 
I'll just leave these batteries in the captain. There we go. And then it just comes right on there. And while I go and retrieve those batteries, oh, you got some? Okay. I'm going to test this out with some 18650s. And while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and apply these right to the mod here. So this will be, I think it adds extra grip ability. All right, so there is our mod now with the decals in place here. And some for some reason, that got folded over. But anyway, there it is with our grip. And it does add extra grip ability to it, so it doesn't slip. So I kind of like the design. Nice and shiny. Okay, so there's your charger, your up and down arrows, your fire button, and now for the batteries. Let's see what we can use with the two... Uh, 18650 batteries so these are the standard 18650s I'm gonna put one there I'm gonna put one there and we're just gonna see how well two of them will work against using all four okay can we close it <laughs> okay it's kind of difficult to close with just the two batteries in there so I'm thinking mm. Mm. come on close Okay, so let me move them into the other receptacles. So we got a minus here and a plus down and below. Okay, let's try those. No? Come <laughs> on. Okay, well, it looks nice, but it would be nice if we can close the battery cover on these. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure about this one, folks. Is if the battery cover is too difficult to close, maybe you just click it down. Okay, you just push it down, and then once it's down, you push it in. So you have to use both hands to push the battery cover back in place. Okay, and with two batteries, it does work. So you don't have to use all four batteries. So let's go ahead and place our tank on top of this unit and give it a try. Okay, I saw the readout for just a brief moment and then it just went away. So up oh, there it goes. There's the Maxo logo. And it's defaulted at 18.2. Uh, I'm going to raise this up a bit to at least 57. Okay, 57, we got it. And it also gives you a readout on how, um, how your two battery levels. Uh, if you have four batteries, you'll see four battery indicators. And it's also got uh, your ohmage, your wattage, uh, and, of course, I guess, uh, well, let's give this a try. Wow. That produces a nice throat hit, nice vapor production, and all around, it's a pretty damn good unit. I'd have to say, and it's with two batteries in it, it's pretty heavy, but I can't imagine what four batteries would be like. So let's try it with the four batteries and see what happens when you put all four of the, um, the uh, 18650 batteries in place. So here we go. Okay, so plus down here, minus back here. Okay, so you always have to make sure that you got your batteries in proper place. So it's down and okay come on <laughs> we got all four batteries in place I want to test this out there we go okay so click that in place and now you look at your indicator okay so it only still has the two battery indicators but um, it shows just you know how much your energy you got and it's you know got a pretty good weight to it when you got all four batteries in place of course uh, it's gonna produce a bit more weight but anyway let's give this a try with the four batteries That is nice. I will have to say this one is a very good choice. If it wasn't for the battery cover, so difficult to close, I'd say that this one is a winner. And this one here is definitely a winner here. So um, if you've ever been skeptical about iJoy products, 
Um, they're a very, they're very good brand. They're top of the line. They're up there with Smoke Tech, and they're up there with uh, Spire. Uh, so you're definitely getting a good brand. <clears throat> it just depends on what vaping unit fits your fancy, whether it's the Maxo, whether it's the Captain. Uh, both of them are very good choices, and I just don't know which one I would take around with me first. I would probably take around the Captain because it's smaller, it's easier to hold in the hand, the battery compartment's a lot easier to put on, and the, the digital readout is big enough to where you can see everything. And this one here, the digital readout is a bit smaller, but this has good grippability. The shape fits in the hand perfectly. It's got a nice weight to it. So, but the only thing I have against this is the battery cover is a bit difficult to open and, well, to close. So to open is really simple, but it does take four batteries, and uh, if you want more uh, energy out of your vaping, then definitely recommend the Maxo. And, of course, you got these really cool decals on the side to express your vaping mod. So that's it for the unboxing today, and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. I know every YouTuber in the world says, like this video, subscribe. Why do I keep saying that? Why? Because everybody else says it, so I'm going to say it too. Like this video, subscribe, and let me know what you think of the iJoys. If you own a Captain, if you own a Maxo, tell me about your experiences. I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. If you've never tried them before, and I hope that I've turned you on to a brand new amazing product, then uh, let me know how your experience goes with the iJoy Captain and the iJoy Maxo. So, until next time, this is Sonic Glue saying bye for now, and in happy vaping.